morning. Welcome to another episode of Lit Street Outdoors. Um, I'm here in the uh, somewhat sunny and extremely cold um, range just off the top of uh, Corny Fell. Um, I'm heading up onto uh, a spot called Kingmont Buck Barrow and it's uh, basically just a quick run. I've mentioned in a few videos I'm doing this carnivore diet and uh, I'm lacking in a bit of energy or I feel like I am so I'm probably not doing it properly but uh, I'm just basically testing out my uh, setup for tomorrow I'm supposed to be heading up uh, well I won't say where somewhere in the lakes uh, we're gonna head up in the snow somewhere and get a decent camp so I thought this would be a good opportunity just to get out see how how I'm feeling and uh, just get a, a fairly fairly easy walk in um, so yeah I'm testing out this new new backpack it's the uh, Sierra Designs uh, flex capacitor so I've got all the kit that I'm taking with me tomorrow bar um, ice axes and maybe crampons as well depending on what what the ground conditions are like but looking at this it's uh, the turf's absolutely solid and uh, further up in the mountains it's going to be uh, it should be fairly decent because there's a good dump of snow so without further ado we'll get up there and I'll show you this tent that I'm using tomorrow as well get that pitched up because I've not pitched it since last winter so we'll get going I'll bring you back That was a bit of a slog, but uh, <clears throat> the snow's got like an inch of crust on top and then it's soft underneath further up because I think it's because of the, the fell grass but it was just breaking underneath, underfoot every time I uh, stepped up on it so it was a bit knacker in there. So this is it, the summit of Kinmont Buck Barrow. And from here, you've got views of Scotland. I'll try and uh, I'll put some photos into this because the GoPro won't pick you up it's too far away, obviously. But uh, you've got snow on the Scottish mountains, and then just literally over the top of the uh, Trig or Cairn, whatever you want to call it, there's uh, the Isle of Man. Again, snow snow-capped peaks and then right down past so the big one you can see there that is Black Coombe and then over the top of there you might be able to see the clouds in the distance um, you've got the Welsh mountains so all that aside you've obviously got the beautiful Lake District as well thinking tomorrow I'll be heading up on that range up there. see if you can guess which one it is see what I mean about this snow so some of it is solid and then you literally getting there though for the conditions uh, to, the, to get your crampons out and that it's, uh, it's getting towards that sort of turf temperature and that so should be good tomorrow hopefully so let's find a nice flat bit to pitch this tent and uh, give you a look around that Thank you. 
Right, so that's pitched. It's uh, pretty wonky, but uh, as I say, I'm not stopping here tonight. Just pitched it just to have another go because I've not done it for 12 months. Uh, and obviously just to show you guys the tent. So here it is. It's the uh, Salua or Salua Light Trek Pro 2. Um, it's uh, I'll put the, st the 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 specs on the screen, but um, I believe it's a 15 or 20D uh, sil nylon. Um, it's a semi geodesic design. It's got these. <coughs> So I haven't tied them through, but you're supposed to wrap them round uh, before you pull the uh, tension on them, it makes it more rigid. Uh, it's quite a clever design, so the single line comes down and then goes back up to a hook in there. There's no bent or anything under that, it's just obviously to uh, give it a good sturdy anchor point. So that comes from the back as well and then <coughs> got the, the back of it there there's no uh, no bug mesh or anything inside it's just you can either zip it, zip it shut if it's uh, crazy windy stop spin drifting that coming up inside the tent and then obviously the same on the other side so you're supposed to wrap these around there and then pull them out but as I say, not pitching it properly, just showing you guys. And then the front. So I like this about this tent, the door zips fully open and then it's got a pocket inside to stuff the door to keep it right out of the way. And then again, the same for that. Um, as I say, it is... Uh, it's the, the Light Trek Pro. It is an awesome tent in bad weather. Um, I think the uh, it's rated to a, a 90 kilometer per hour wind, um, like a side wind or whatever. So it, it's you know it'll stand up to the elements. Um, never had an issue with waterproof or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> the only thing I will say is it's tiny. <coughs> So, so a two person tent I'm a biggie like but six foot six foot three or so um, but yeah th there's more than enough room for me in here um, but they do something similar to the um, not sure which which uh, which tent it was by Hilleberg where the front's designed to be clipped out so that you can because if I was to sit up not very good for making scram so it's got little little clips so that you can I mean, again, it's not fantastic, but I just uh, when I make me brew in the morning, I just lay down on the uh, on my front and obviously have my head at the, the door end. So yeah, it's uh, it's a tight little tent, but I've got all the confidence in the world that it'll stand up to anything I'm going to throw at it. So for that reason, I really do like the tent. I've I I used it. Uh, all last winter had it in some decent snowy conditions and that was obviously before we started the YouTube channel so you'll only see what we do this year so yeah quite like it so again a bit more from the inside it's uh there's a small mesh uh, mesh section on the door and then there's that small one on the roof and then this yeah that goes straight straight outside it's uh, the same I think it's a, a 20D um, floor in it as well still nylon
So with this being the uh, the pro version, it uh, it's in as yellow, and it comes with gold poles and uh, yellow clips that clip onto the poles. Uh, just these jobbies here you just clip on and off, pretty straight forward. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> got a few reflective strips etc outside um, so yeah it's that's the pro version it's a little bit lighter um, and a different color to the they just do a light trek 2 which is uh, same colorway outside but rather than having yellow and gold it's all uh, green poles and a green inner so depending on what you fancy I mean you might prefer the green one, but it'll be a little bit heavier, um, and I think the gear that they use, like the the materials, aren't quite as uh, robust or lightweight. So, or maybe they're more robust and less lightweight. Who knows? So yeah, I'll stick the specs on the screen if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, let's get a, a brew on. So I've had this uh, this brew kit since I used to do a bit of mountain biking, so I've probably had it about four years, maybe maybe five years. Uh, it's the Fire Maple Fixed Star X2, I believe, and I got this on Planet X. Uh, <laughs> I literally, I must have paid about 30 quid for it, brand new obviously off Planet X. It has never missed a beat. The old go gas is uh, struggling a bit today, it's not the best stuff that to be honest, but uh, that'll do the trick. The, uh, the car was reading minus three on the way up and I'm probably another 100 metres or so maybe a bit more above where the uh, car's parked so you're probably dropping a few degrees but she's boiling On the old hot black current today. Oh, that is hot. <laughs> Good God. What a spot. Brew with a view. Cheers. <clears throat> I literally don't think I've had a day up here where you can see the Isle of Man that clearly. It's crackers. And then even, you, you definitely won't be able to pick it up on the camera, I don't think, but with the clouds forming in the, the furthest distance that you can see, there's actually some of the uh, Scottish islands that you can see as well. Crazy. So I've just been sat taking in the views. Had another uh, quick hot black current, and now I'm thinking, can't be asked packing up, and I wish. I've got all my other gear. Well, I have actually. There's a sleeping bag and everything, but I've got to pick the old lad up from school, so it's always spoiling me fun.
that's it for this video. As I say, I was just uh, having a while go at uh, setting that tent up again. So it's good to have a bit of a practice if you've not done it for, well, I ain't done it since last, last winter. So uh, yeah, <laughs> when you've got as many tents as I have, it's always good to uh, make sure you haven't mixed anything up and uh, you remember what you're doing with it. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll call that video there. Thanks very much for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this video or you like camping videos and walking and other stuff please do uh, consider liking and subscribing and I will catch you on the next one. Do that.